<laughs> got it. Yeah, just say got it. You're good. That's what he wants. This is Rockin' with Jam Man is with Face the Fire. How you doing, man? What's going on, guys? Doing pretty Hello. good. What's up, buddy? Good. You know, just chilling, enjoying life. Just also just graduated yesterday, so no more school. Yeah, dude. That's a, <laughs> dude, you had the same attitude I had when I was graduating school. I didn't care. I wanted to get out of there. My kid, did you graduate? No, no, I'm kidding. I did. I did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. We were just asking if he dropped out, but I think Yeah, so. right. <laughs> a lot of people do that sometimes. He he finished, right? You finished you finished school. So it doesn't mean that you graduated. It just means you were done. <laughs> me? Me or Jam? Nah, I'm just messing. I'm <laughs> I just, I graduated fourth grade though. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> One more year and you'll be a uh, uh, middle school. Um I got fifth grade, so just a couple after years. yeah, after fifth though, you are you excited to get to middle school? Uh, yeah, I guess so. It, just gonna be weird. yeah you are just say yes it'll be cool no you'll be fine okay it's just gonna be multiple classes so yeah so prepared yeah yeah now before we get right into it can you give me a little backstory on the band go ahead brandon man you're putting me on the thing so uh <laughs> we, we, and i got corrected yesterday when we were on another little meeting here so um seven seven years we've been a band so we, we started out um i've known through well i've known most of the guys in the band for a long time um and then i guess we met mike through uh facebook while we were looking for a drummer and kind of started from there and we did an ep way back when and then from there we just kind of started working and did an album after that and then to the recent release that we just had come out now, congratulations on your new single. Remember what you're made of. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate that. That was a powerful song with a great message. What inspired you to make it? Mike, you get to answer this one now. <laughs> oh, come on. You did this yesterday, too. Um, honestly, uh, so what inspired us to make it was just writing another song, I guess. Um, and this really cool song came out of it. Uh, we, the way we write songs, we just kind of sit in uh, at Brandon's, Brandon's like studio, you know, area at his place, and we just write songs. Um, and this one just kind of happened out of nowhere, and we just kept building on it. And we got a producer, uh, Jordan Pop, from Seven Day Sonnet, to uh, kind of do the finishing touches on it and finish it up. And yeah, so that's pretty much the story on that one. Yeah, he did, he did a very good job as well. Oh yeah. To your music, it sounds like you are inspired by all kinds of rock and metal. Mm -hmm. yeah. No way, dude. No, uh, I'd say I was inspired by Tupac. <laughs> huh. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Jam, I'm joking with you, buddy. No, no, no. It, it was rock and metal mainly. Uh, I'm a biggie. I'm a biggie guy. <laughs> are you? Oh, man. Uh, you're, I do. You're, I'm not going to lie. Host, right? I like Tupac, but. My three favorite rock, well, not well, my three favorite rappers are like you know, hip hop is definitely Wu Tang Clan and a Biggie and Tupac. Oh. Yeah. Wu Tang, man, that's for you're a hey, Jim, you're only 10, right? Yeah, man, that's pretty crazy. Those are some like old school guys. Yeah, I listen to old music all the time. I love Frank Sinatra, Fly Me to the Moon. Oh, dude, yes. Thank you. I'm not the only one that likes that song. Cool. Yeah. I don't, I would sing it, but I don't want to mess it up. No, I sing it on an interview before, and, my, and well, let's just say that almost ruined my business. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <tell> them, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's so funny. <laughs> <sighs> Well, is this just a single, or do you have more music coming, like an album or just more singles? For now, for now, we have a single. Uh, we're always working on new music, though. Every time that we get together, we're writing music. So we've got a bunch of stuff that we're that we're doing currently, 
and uh little bits at a time we piece stuff together and then we find out what ones we like the best and then we, we hand them over to production stuff and then get rolling you know are you afraid of the Foo Fighters? They might sue you because your logo <laughs> looks just like theirs. And I'm, I'm going to sue you on every single dime you have. <laughs> well, if Dave, if Dave rolls, yeah, I'll, I'll feel pretty good. <laughs> He's not going to get much, though. <laughs> no. Oh, God. If he comes after us, I feel like I feel like at least, uh, I don't know, I that, 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 I. At least I was recognized, right? <laughs> the compliment. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> he can punch, hey, if I, he can punch hey, me in the face. You're like one of those guys who like, oh, my God, he beat me. <laughs> right. <laughs> he would have only helped the band in the end if Brandon gets beat up. But Dave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, that's my plan. I want to get sued and beat up by Dave Gold. <laughs> Okay. Back and make all that's gonna make you really famous, yeah. I'll be famous and <laughs> beat up by David. <laughs> Boy, yeah, yeah, beat up and hey, so that's your whatever you got. Oh, Mike. Oh, god, Mike. <laughs> Can you mute Mike right now? <laughs> Is he ordering a burger? <laughs> I don't know. Is he still What's up? You sound like Mike. crap, Mike. Wherever you're at is way too loud for what you're doing right now. And no, I'm eating, I'm eating salmon. Do I really? Yeah, you, you're going to have to pick one or the other, buddy. Um, all right. Oh, God. Okay, you know, is he... Are you done? Oh, God, sorry. He, I got to ask him to unmute. You're good, buddy. You're good. Okay, we're good. Okay. Were you ordering a burger? Okay, anyway. Sorry, no. I, was, uh, I ordered some salmon. Oh, you were getting some salmon, ah. Yeah, I had to take a bite, I was so hungry. <laughs> I'm glad that's more important than this interview, dude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Listen, Jam, I've done so many of these interviews so far, I need a break. But I just joined it for you. All right, thank you. But did you, uh, you know uh, who I interviewed, right? Megadeth, I interviewed Black Sabbath. And Bumblefoot, yeah, interviewed some big names. And you did Bumblefoot? Yeah, and also I did Billy Fion. Billy Fion. What? Awesome. Yeah. That's so awesome. Yeah, thank you. Do you have any you... plans to tour this summer? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, we're doing we're doing a show August seventh, um, in Chicago at Bottom Lounge, and then we're doing a show August twenty first. Uh, Whereas uh, in West Chicago. How did the pandemic affect you guys? Kevin, Kevin, we'll get Kevin yeah. Um, a lot of bands just, we couldn't play out, you know, just like everybody else. And it kind of like, it's just sad that you couldn't get out there. And a lot of fans like are sad they couldn't see shows. We just kept writing music. Um, and and that's kind of how remember what you're made of came out from that actually too so it's kind of good for everybody took a step back and reevaluated like their situations get to a better place and now everything's like opening back up again so we're so excited to play out again it's it's about time you know what is your favorite memory from playing a show hmm. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, Janet, yeah. um can each of us answer this? Because we put out different, oh, yeah. we all play different memories. Anyone? I got, I got, I got one. I got one. Um, right. So we were playing Bottom Lounge one of the first times, and this is when our like album was out, like one of the first few times. And I saw like, I saw a little kid about like seven years old sing the words. I didn't know who this kid was. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Like the kid knows the words. And then I look in the back. There's three people like mosh, and I'm like, that's such a cool feeling just to give people like an outlet and. An energy you feel that on stage, you know. 
That's definitely the best one, though. Good for you. What is uh, what was your worst memory from playing the show? <laughs> worst oh, memory from playing a show? Um, Brandon, you said one. Smilers. Either that <laughs> or when we had Brandon. Is it Smilers or are we gonna do the one about Bottom Brew with the sound guy dropping my headset in the water oh, and then he just dipped? Remember, he just he just got in there. <laughs> yeah. Before we even played the show, the sound guy left. So then we we. I forgot we played acoustic or something anyway, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, but we, we made the really had the sound or nothing. Yeah, yeah. There, there's been a couple. I mean, so it's been good experience. What is next for you? Keep writing songs. Probably finishing up beating the salmon. Okay. Yeah. No. Yes, writing new songs, um, new shows. It just depends when things kind of like things are opening, but we want to make sure that nothing else is going to happen here. So we're kind of, we're going to take it with caution and go from there and, and see what happens. How do my followers follow you? Oh God. Um, Instagram, Facebook. Um, I mean, Spotify has followers these days, apparently. So you can do Spotify. Um, we don't have a Twitter. Yeah. We don't tweet. <laughs> Mm-hmm. We should. We don't. And Jam, we don't even TikTok. Huh. You believe that? We don't even TikTok. We should. We're, we're just not funny enough. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're just not funny enough. Well, thank you for being on the show, guys. Uh, but next time we talk, it's at backstage on one of your shows, dude. Boys! <gasps> Later, buddy. Take care. Yeah, guys.